Sports, sponsored by Dick's Sporting Goods. It was another wild weekend of college football. Two top five teams, Stanford and Boise State, knocked from the ranks of the unbeaten. So OSU's hold on the nation's number two ranking only strengthened today. Latest AP poll is out. LSU again number one. First unanimous number one in three years. OSU again number two, but receiving 34 more votes. Rest of the top five, it's Alabama at three. Oregon jumps up to number four after knocking off Stanford. The Sooners up two spots to number five. Notables, Arkansas is number six. Tulsa receives 22 votes, which would make the Golden Hurricane number 30 if you extended the poll. BCS rankings released later tonight. Well, if there was any doubt before, it's gone now. OSU football controls its national championship destiny. And as Caden reports, after yesterday's 60-point victory in Lubbock, the Cowboys have never looked better. They have to be careful right now they don't get blown out of this stadium. Fresh off the most dominating defeat of the season. Walking into the end zone is Josh Stewart with another Oklahoma State touchdown. And 10-0 and for the first time ever. Nobody can appreciate just how special this Cowboys season continues to be more than longtime poke Mike Gundy. Being around Oklahoma State football for 20-something years, I can appreciate what they've accomplished and all the hard work that's gone in uh, to getting to this point. You know, we're, we're far enough along here. We've got something special going on, and, and uh, you know, we're on the, we're on the verge of it. We're playing well. Something special is exactly right, and this team's character makes it even better than the sum of its parts. They're just good kids, and, and they like being around each other, and I think that's as big a factor as anything, is that they, they care about each other, and they're willing to play hard for, for the guy next to them. It just comes with everyone having such a love for the game and such an intensity for the game, and, and it shows every week. Oh, we got a great group of guys. Fun to be around, sometimes a little too loose. You know, the old Bobby Knight thing, they got the game face on. What is a game face? I don't know. <laughs> but I know we got good players, and, and they like to play. Just two wins from the BCS title game. The challenge now, not looking too far ahead. I mean, it's hard not to look at that and say, you know, we're going to be a national championship if we win two more games. But um, we really just got to stay focused on this next week's game. Whatever we did today doesn't matter next week. Just like what they did against OU does has, certainly has not carried over. So you certainly can't just count on it. They understand the importance of taking the next step which is uh, next Friday night in Iowa. Shaq, here in Lubbock, they are known for their rowdy, heckling fans. Wasn't much to get rowdy or heckle about yesterday. At one point, with Oklahoma State leading by 49 points, an exasperated student yelled out, just how far does T. Boone's money go? Well, this year, quite possibly, the national championship game. In Lubbock, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. Oh, money is a wonderful thing. They can't buy you happiness. The Cowboys looking to make it 11 straight road wins visiting Iowa State. What are you laughing about, Marla? <laughs> that game is Friday night.